this video I'm going to show you how to assemble the auto rewinder for Rep Chords Rep Rack. The auto rewinder consists of three parts, the frame and two auto rewinding cylinders. For the frame, we're going to use eight M3 by eight screws and eight M3 nuts. To install the M3 nuts, we're going to start by threading the M3 screws through it. This is going to pull them into place and lock them in position. With the M3 nuts installed, we're going to start assembling the frame. This consists of five pieces. The frame is symmetrical, so you really don't have to worry about how you put it together. Now we'll assemble the first coil cylinder. So this part is on just one side, and then we have multiples of these guys that piece together. So we're gonna piece all of those together. But no, the last one is gonna have this shape in it. That one's different than the rest. So that one's gonna be on the very end. Each of these have interlocking parts, so we're just going to push these together like so. This part is really easy, so I don't think you'll have any props at now that we got it fully assembled, make sure you got one side with the geared end and the other with the half circle. We're going to take the cylinder outside shell and we're going to add the bearing to it. Now take that shell and slide it over the coils. Might have to push it around a little bit until it pops in place. Now we're going to take the cylinder cap and push a bearing into that as well. And then we're going to just thread that on the end of the cylinder. Last we're going to install this bar. Notice that it's got a flat side. We're going to push that through all the way to the other side where that half circle is, and that should pass right through it. You should already feel it rewinding. If it's not, it might be binding. You might want to check to make sure your print is good and not stringy and bumpy or, you know, whatever, whatever happens, you know. Oh wow, hey, this one's already done. Cool. All right, now into the hard stuff. We're gonna grab the cylinder and notice that the rod has one side with a tab on that. You want that to face up. So when we slide this into place, it should go in like this. And you want those arrows to be pointing backwards or towards the back, whatever will be the wall. We're gonna do that for both the cylinders. I promise you I'm only doing this for fun. This is not to test if they work. So, um, yeah. All right, and now it's time to try it out. I'm totally spinning it the wrong way in this video, but I don't really feel like going back and editing it. But just imagine, yeah, this is, it's working. All right, and then once we install it on the rep rack, Make sure you got the front, the, the part that has the little guide in it. That should be facing outward. I don't 
think you could even put it on the other way. Yeah. Looks like it's working. Amazing.